Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to film a review of the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. And this was requested. I've had it for about two and a half weeks, and I've used it every day since I've got it. Um, I don't typically break out from anything, so this wouldn't really affect me any more than normal products would. I know some people find this is really itchy on their skin, so I would definitely say test it out before you buy it. But I have no reaction to it. It's totally great. So I'm pretty sure this has SPF 15. Canada's really... Sorry, there's birds and massive trucks and vintage cars going by, so <laughs> it's kind of noisy. Um, anyways, this is SPF 15. It's not on my labels because I'm Canadian. I don't really know. But yeah. Um, I haven't really tested this with photography. I'm sure if you Google it, somebody has an opinion on that. So, this is what it looks like. It is... Uh, 9.6 grams, which is quite big. Um, you get a lot of product for your money. It's kind of expensive. I think it's about $40 in Canada. Um, but I really do think it's worth it. So I have the color Natural Beige. I didn't really w I wanted something that would kind of match me year-round to an extent. And I don't think this is something where there's not a ton a ton of colors because one color could suit like a few different tones. Um, so this is what it looks like. So what I did was there's a sticker that covers the holes where the mineral powder comes out and I cut off the sticker and so four holes are exposed. Just so you know. Um, you can obviously let them all out but I didn't want powder everywhere and I do find that I get enough product with only a few of them exposed. Uh, so what I typically do is I tap a bit of the powder into the lid, so I don't know if you can see that, um, and then I take my Eco Tools bronzer brush and I just kind of swirl it in really well. And um, I typically build this up. I will do enough for half of my face and then the other half, and I can kind of... Um, yeah, I, I don't put a ton of product on at once because then one part of your face would just be way more covered than the other. And right now I am wearing this with only under eye concealer, nothing underneath, and just this. So this is what my skin looks like. What I was thinking was um, I'll post a before and after picture and more of a review tomorrow on my vlog because I'm wearing a lot of uh, other makeup right now. So I'll just do like a bare face and then a picture of what it looks like up close after I've applied this. And just this only, no concealer or anything. So right now, I'm actually, I use this as my base, and then I put on a cream blush and a cream bronzer. I use the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So as you can see, there's no problem with putting cream products on top of this. You just really have to work it in. And my skin doesn't look dry or flaky or powdery or anything like that. The color match is great for me. I just, I'm in love with this product. I think it's really amazing. I never really thought I could find a powder that would not look like a powder. And my skin is pretty dry. Um, I think if you have flaky skin, I know that's really gross then it might accentuate that, but if your skin is just kind of like dull and flat looking and it needs a lot of moisture, then this can definitely help. I don't find that it dries my skin out anymore. It looks really good throughout the day. I do find that it lasts a bit better if you do something else. So what I do on like an everyday basis is I do a really light layer of my Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. And I only do that, I don't do it on my forehead, because I find that foundation wears off really badly on my forehead, and I don't really need the coverage. So, like, if you have kind of, like, I just, it goes blotchy on my forehead before any of my face looks different. So, I just put the Estee Lauder all over, like, the bottom half of my face, 
and then I let that sit for a bit and I put on under eye concealer and then I take this with this brush and do like a light layer all over my face including my forehead because I find that this is fine on my forehead so if I do that it lasts for like 14 hours I have dry skin so that's kind of a factor this probably lasts for about 10 hours without anything else but I have dry skin so yet again um, if you felt the need to touch up you could use this or you could use another kind of like more matte powder this is totally not like a powdery powder if you got what I mean like you could actually put a setting powder on top of this and it would probably be fine um, I don't really know what else to say. I just think it's a really brilliant product. It sits on the skin beautifully. Like, it doesn't really even look like I have anything on. I think that if you usually... Like, I have a lot of redness that I want to conceal on a daily basis. I have a lot of red on my cheeks. But the red kind of goes all the way down to my jaw. And I find that powders are usually, like probably the easiest way to cover redness and this does it flawlessly I just I, f I feel really comfortable when I'm wearing it even though it's not a ton of coverage I would say it's light to medium you could put a ton of this on I'm sure I don't really do that I probably I don't even know how to explain how much I use I just like I just build it up slowly I don't put a lot on I just I don't even know how much other people put on so I can't really describe it probably like well my brush doesn't really look like it has powder on it when I'm putting it on I really like buff it in really well if you get too much on you can just dab it on the back of your hand but I'm just really impressed with this stuff I think that it will last me a long time because I don't need very much of it and this could probably work for all seasons it's summertime now my skin looks pretty dewy today because I turned off my fan so it wouldn't be too loud it's really hot outside but I don't find that this melts off my face I'm just I think it's a really great product and if you haven't tried it yet you definitely should but definitely try a sample or get them to put it on your face to make sure that you don't have the itchy reaction so yeah I think that's everything if you have any questions definitely ask me below and if there's anything you want to see in my blog post specifically like if you like um, what I'm probably going to do is have a bare face and then just this. So if you think I should be wearing concealer, or if you have any opinion about that, just let me know. Uh, yeah, and if you have any more requests or ideas, please let me know as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye!